Hey folks, welcome. First off, sorry for the late video. I got knocked off my normal co coaching or posting schedule. Um, also, filming from my living room rather than my normal little studio. And this will be my weight today because it's all I have down because Alyssa is asleep next to my weight. Um, so, um, our workout for today is something I did on Tuesday, which I really liked. This is a long workout. We have 30 minutes. This is actually double the length that I put some of my other athletes through, but I really liked um, the response you guys gave to our last 30 minute workout. I thought um, it was tough, but you all felt very accomplished afterwards. So I wanted to make something else really long to close out the week. So we're gonna do um, some rest here. It'll be a five minute piece of, or segment of work of which I only want you working three to four minutes. So it's gonna be a five minute segment and we're gonna do that five minute segment six times for 30 minutes total. Now, at, like I said, in that five minute segment, we're trying to get about three minutes to four minutes of work. So we have a, like two or one minute of rest every five minutes. Now we're going to make that happen by choosing the right quantity and complexity and weight like we always do. So um, let's talk about what we're doing. You're gonna tab your weight this time, whatever it is, and you're never gonna let it go. We're gonna do a sequence of movements with this weight. It's gonna be a little peaking workout. So we're gonna get in one way, then get back out the same way. So maybe a down and back workout. So what are our movements? I'm gonna read them from a list. We have some suitcase deadlifts. So that'll be deadlifting on the side of our body. We have some snatching. That'll mean bringing the object from the floor all the way overhead. We have some pressing or push pressing. And then we have some goblet lunges. The goblet lunge will be the peak of the workout. And then we repeat all those other movements backwards to get out. We go through our pressing, our snatching, and then our deadlifts to finish. Um, again, take a look at the workout down below if you haven't yet already. Okay, so let's talk about each one of these movements. We've done these before. Um, uh, and so they should be no mystery, but let's talk about ways to get them done and also ways to make them harder if you're um, a superstar and uh, slept nine hours last night and are eating well and are well rested and didn't crush yourself yesterday. So let's take a look. Um, we start with our suitcase deadlift. Now, I also don't have my brace on, so I'm gonna be a little bit, you'll see me at my weakest. Um, we're uh, suitcase deadlift, we stand up. Actually, I'll do these in a kneeling position. Um, because uh, my camera is not so wide today. Uh, we start, we deadlift with the weight at our side. So one handed weight, we go down and come back up. This would be the same thing standing. I'm deadlifting with the weight at my side. Um, if we're sitting on something higher, then this is, looks like a normal deadlift. Typically we deadlift in the middle with two hands, a suitcase, the idea is deadlifting on the side. So we have four to 12 of those. Um, essentially this workout, I think you want to find the heaviest thing you can for this work because the quantities are lower. After that, we have our snatch. So those would be ground overhead. If we're kneeling, it's going to be from here all the way up to here. And I'd love to even have a little bit of a squat to begin. If we're kneeling, if we're standing, of course, this will look like going from the floor all the way up overhead. Uh, now, in this workout, ideally I'd love a one-handed object. I think it's high time, we all have some dumbbells, some heavy dumbbells, I know they're tough to get, but it gives us a lot more options. So, if we have a one-handed object, we're gonna start with only using one hand. So for our suitcase deadlifts, let's say we start with the right hand, we get our work done with the right. Then snatching, we're gonna alternate back and forth, and then for the pressing, we're gonna go back to the right hand only. So the first few moves, or at least two of them, are just with one hand. Then the last uh, few moves, the suitcase deadlift you finish with, and the, the pressing you finish with will be on the left hand. I hope that makes sense. So the idea is using your right hand to start, and then your left hand to finish. 
Now, if you have a two-handed object, then you're just using two hands. So it's a little less um, interesting. But uh, if you have a one-handed object, I wanted to layer that on. Okay, let's go back to the sequence now. So we start with our suitcase deadlift. I'm using my right hand for that. Then we go to the snatching. I get to alternate hands with that. And then we go to our press. Um, we go to our press movement. This one is right hand only. We're pressing, or if the weight's a little heavier, we can push press. This also can be done, of course, from the kneel or seating. Then we move, oh, um, for the pressing, the advanced version is going to be a split jerk. So for those of you that want a bigger challenge, you're going to press and land in a lunge. Woo! I've never done that with my brace on before. Um, you're going to press and land in a lunge. Uh, the fourth movement is a goblet lunge. So we hold onto the weight at the center of our chest and we lunge forward. Woo! Again, no brace, kind of tough lunge forward and come back up. You can do a step forward lunge or a step backward lunge. Um, if you're kneeling, find any uh, squat substitute, just a weighted squat will be fine. Okay, so those are the first four movements. Then the last three movements are a repeat of the first three. We go now back to a split jerk, this time with the opposite hand if you're using a one-handed object, alternating snatches, and then finally suitcase deadlifts. Okay, so I know that there's a lot of stuff going on, but I think when it's complicated, it gets more fun. Um, so the goal for you guys before you start is to practice this, test out these movements, test your quantity. You'll see most of the movements, um, we have 4 to 12, everything except the goblet lunge, which is 10 to 20. So we practice all these things and test one round to make sure we can get three to four minutes. I want you to have a pretty good answer for what you're trying to do to begin with, but of course, if we over or underestimate, we can correct as we go, because we're doing this for six rounds. All right, everybody, so this is our work. Good morning, by the way. I will see you in a few hours at noon. Looking forward to it.